Russell C. Davis Planetarium is seeking nearly $8 million to complete major renovations. 12 News' is Brandon Rain spoke with the Planetarium's director and the Department of Human and Cultural Services who say they have big plans for the Planetarium's future. An important part of the city of Jackson. Uh, the Planetarium is historically uh, important to uh, the local and state community. The Russell C. Davis Planetarium is hoping to come back bigger and better than ever. After closing in 2018 due to damage from a roof leak, planetarium management and the city of Jackson are planning on a $16 million renovation with some big changes. So there will be a large new atrium that will connect both the planetarium and the art center and service both facilities. And we have our second floor, which will uh, we are going to completely rethink and include a learning center, a, a, an adaptive learning space. And then the third floor will incorporate all new immersive uh, exhibits. The planetarium has raised $8 million for its renovation. They are working with private investors to gather more funds. If we can uh, get about 75% of the total package that will really get us on board for the construction itself. City leaders had hoped to receive $2 million from the state to go towards the project. The governor, Tate Reeves, vetoed the plan earlier this year. But they say they haven't given up on getting those funds. We're excited to continue that conversation and, and return to the state in the le next legislative session. Management say the planetarium's renovations are designed to attract more visitors to the city of Jackson. We can introduce a, a reinvigorated kind of tourism boom. Uh, we are doing a project that is going to gain us national recognition. Uh, we've not seen uh, this kind of plan executed in a museum or planetarium before. Space is such a large part of the conversation now, especially privatization of space travel. We want to be at the forefront of telling those stories. The planetarium hopes to begin renovations by the spring. Reporting in Jackson, I'm Brandon Rains for 12 News.